history means nothing. You know what else is in history? Slavery. And you know what else is in history after that? 9-11. And you know what else is in history? The Holocaust. There's a lot of history that be involved in events. That don't mean it's good. Bugs, Benaki, Benaki. Today I have my first advice question on my channel. I am so excited. I'm going to read to you guys a situation a girl named Jazzy is going through on Facebook. She contacted me asking for some advice on her level up journey, and I cannot wait to answer. So, Jazzy says, Hey Queenie, I've been following your journey for quite some time and I want to say I love the work that you are doing for black women and I am so glad you are creating content every day on the topics that you do. Thank you, my love. I wanted to ask you for advice on my level up journey. I've been following other level up gurus, gurus advice on improving my overall lifestyle and implementing a new look slash tone for myself. However, my boyfriend does not like this change as he feels I'm trying to leave him or find something better. He sometimes sees the videos that I watch and talks S-word about girls who does these things. We've been on and off the last four years for a variety of reasons. However, he has never cheated on me. He doesn't provide or anything as we are the same age, 23, and he can't, he can't afford that. I love him and I know he loves me, but I just want more in life. What do you think? Much love, XOXO. First of all, Jazzy, thank you so much for contacting me and trusting me to give you a response because I got some tea for this response right here because it sounds like literally my ex-fiance, my situation that I was in. Yep, if you guys didn't know, I was engaged in, in the past. Um, first of all, I want to say that if he's like talking smack about who you're trying to flourish and become, that's a problem right there. And he just sounds like he got to go and not even a, a got to go like he's a problem. But I think eventually you guys are going to grow out of each other because you are on a certain path and he cannot do the things you need for that path. Um, and I know you guys have four years of history, so that makes it a little bit hard. But if y'all been on and off for the last four years or so. It sounds like there's always been a problem there that y'all just keep either it has to be either re-manifesting or it's a new problem that is so big every time that y'all end up breaking up for a little bit right so um there's just a lot of health unhealthiness and toxicity in this relationship and it's not coinciding with your vision for yourself of being leveled up of having a provider man of being with somebody who values you for how you're trying to turn yourself because it sounds like here that you weren't really you know very dressed up or didn't really participate in certain level up activities when you first started dating him clearly and now as you are aging you know at 23 you want to do a little bit more as most women should and he's not ready for that so he's scared that you are going to find somebody better because you just might find somebody better he knows he's not at the level that you deserve in life. So he's gonna try to keep you down every single time to make sure that you don't upgrade too much and leave him. But in my opinion, I think if you don't leave him today, you are going to leave him eventually. Y'all are not on the same path. It's not gonna work out. And on another, on another tip, because you said that he's never cheated on you, I think that we pay too much attention on whether someone's doing the textbook bad things that everybody says is deemed worthy to break up with somebody over. So usually it's, um, you know, cheating, abuse, uh, you know, overall general toxicity. But sometimes you could just break up with somebody because y'all do not have the same destiny anymore. Um, I understand that y'all had like a history, but history means nothing. Stop dealing with someone just because y'all had history. If you keep seeing me look to the side, that's because I'm making sure I'm getting back to the question. Um, but yeah, stop dealing with someone just because y'all got history. History means nothing when it doesn't coincide to what you need today. Sometimes we're so fo we're so focused on looking forward that. I mean, we're so focused on looking back that we're literally forcing ourselves to stumble and trip on the race to running forward. We're so busy just looking back every time, trying to reminisce on what it used to be, trying to reminisce on what it can be based off of what you've experienced in the past. Honey boo boo, I'm here to tell you that that's not your experience today. That's not your experience with him. And 
you you gotta get you he gotta go he gotta go it's not like he gotta go but you make the decision on when you think he should go but history means nothing history means nothing my ex-fiance we was together for four years love him to death he was amazing you know and stuff like that but we just it just wasn't gonna work out for who i want to be and who he was as a person at that time I don't know who he is now, but I know even now, our paths are completely different in terms of where we are right now. And I needed to separate myself from that to grow, to become the person I wanted to be today, to experience better because better is out there. It sounds like you intrinsically feel like there's better out there. Don't sleep on that feeling. Trust that feeling. Run with full passion towards it. You know, it don't gotta be today that you break up with him, but eventually it seems like y'all gonna go on different paths. It's more so, when are you ready to walk away? History means nothing. You know what else is in history? Slavery. And you know what else is in history after that? 9-11. And you know what else is in history? The Holocaust. There's a lot of history that be involved in events. That don't mean it's good. That don't mean it's good. And if y'all breaking up all the time and then he's like, you know, downplaying the journey that you're on right now and he doesn't respect the things that you're currently interested in, then you gotta leave him. Cause it sounds like he not used to a level up woman. So as he's seeing you level up, he's like, whoa, what is this? You giving me real city girl vibes. You giving me real this, real that vibes. And you might not even be trying to be like a city girl. You might be trying to just become an elegant, classy woman that just, you know, I don't know, want to drink tea somewhere, you know? But he's not used to that. He, that's the thing about dealing people in your past when you start to move up in your life is that they are always gonna associate you with who you used to be. But guess what, honey? I'm a new person every day. You see this hair? I change my hair every other day and boom. But the wig switch is the, is the new switch, all right? Every single time. I'm a new person every day. You cannot hold me accountable to who I was last year. Last year, I didn't know certain stuff. This year, I know a lot more. And then next year, I'm going to be a whole different person. I'm going to be a lot better. I already know because I learn stuff every single day. And it seems like if you're watching these gurus, you're learning some new information that you not you did not know every day. You clearly didn't know it because you stayed with a, a scrub, it sounds like, for four years. You know, and he don't got to be a scrub in terms of, like, because he can't take care of you. But that's what you want is what it sounds like. <laughs> is what it sounds like. So it's naturally not gonna work out. He's not gonna just randomly get money one day and wanna take care of you. If anything, he's gonna always try to keep you down to the level where you don't, where you won't feel like you need that. But if that's your dream, if that's your vision for yourself, then he's gonna have to go eventually, mamas. Eventually. You decide on when you think he should go. But that's my advice on that. I have faith in you, girl. You don't gotta figure it out today. Maybe you need to start developing a little exit plan on a relationship. Like, you know what, baby? I'm not really too happy right now. I don't know, get a little distant. Have a conversation, or maybe just block him on everything and run away. You know, but eventually, y'all gonna end. It just sounds like it. You know, a lot of times, especially um, other people too, it sounds like y'all be knowing the answers to the questions that y'all asking. But you know, sometimes you need that confirmation. Like, you're not bugging, girl. He, he's the one that's bugging. And just because he's not cheating, just because he's not a bad person, just because he's not this and not that, doesn't mean that y'all are meant to be together. He don't gotta be a terrible person. Nor do you have to convince yourself in your mind that he's garbage or anything like that. You can literally just remind yourself, based off what you've told me, that it's not meant. Y'all paths, y'all destinies are too different. And as long as you try to force your destinies to be together, your, your plans will never come to, to, to full fruition. So that is my advice to you. I hope you like it. I hope y'all like this type of content. If y'all got questions or any advice videos or something you want me to give um, you know, my opinion on, absolutely I will. I don't mind. I love sitting in front of my camera and talking to you guys. But yeah, ladies, stop dealing with someone just because y'all got history. If they not matching your goals, they got to go. And that's not even just boyfriends. That's friends. That's everybody. You on a path to the level up. That means if somebody is not with it, they got to get out of here. But the train is moving regardless. All right? So, thumbs up this video if you like this type of content. See y'all next time. Bye.